Okay, this, um, <clears throat> I think this was my second, um, this was the second unit that I actually put together. Um, again, I used a piece of uh, fiberglass tube for a housing. I used some aluminium pieces to make a mount. Um, that's a, um, the large tripod mount. I don't know what size they are, but they're, they're bigger than standard. I, I do actually have a tripod that has the larger screw mounting, and I've also made a hole in that for the uh, smaller tripod mounting, so I've got both. This is quite heavy, especially if you put a big lens on it, so I tend to use the, uh, the bigger tripod mount hole. Construction of this one's pretty much the same as what the other one was. Uh, I've used the Sony to next Sony next to Nikon adapter housing. Um, I used a aluminium piece of aluminium which I made round to the same size as the inner of the, this particular housing. Then I made a hole in the middle of it to accept the Sony next adapter. Press that in tightly. Screws from the back. Epoxy glue around it to help secure it furthermore. Battery box on the top. The wires from the battery box actually go through the top of the tube into the actual tube housing and into the night vision tube. In here there's just some uh, four AA battery holders. At the rear of the unit I found a piece of metal which sort of looked res respectable for the back and press that into the back. As you can see, you can see the, the tube window, the output window of the tube inside there. Basically, basically the camera, your video camera just sits on the end here and just presses into that. So it basically the camera's focused on that window there, which is a screen, same as a TV screen. You can see approximately the depth of the tube to where, to the front of the lens adapter. Uh, I've actually used this one quite a bit, it uh, works fine. Um, the, my old video, in my old video you can see the old version of this which was made in a PVC tube and kind of using this on the front of it and okay, a hose clamp to hold it in. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty basic setup. Um, my latest design, which I will show you in a minute, is um, again, you know, an improvement on this one and the uh, the earlier version. I'll go get that now, actually, and I'll show you that latest one. Okay, um, this is a quick view of my latest night vision unit, which I've been building for for quite a while. Um, I started this more than a year ago, and um, got it to the stage where it is now more than a year ago. I haven't really done any work on it for a while, but um, I will eventually finish it and start using it. Um, <clears throat> the two, the, the housings on this are made out of uh, metal, steel. The steel housings. Um, I bought a long length of uh, steel tubing, cut it all down to the right size, made all the uh, adapters for the uh, the front, and used Sony to Sony next to Nikon adapters on this ones as well. You can see this one there and one there. So I can just screw the lens on or off at will. This is an 80 millimeter to 200 millimeter zoom lens f 2.8. Now f2.8 is not ideal, but you're, you're never going to find a 200mm lens in anything less than f2.8. It's just impossible. They just get too big and too heavy. So it is an f2.8, but because it's a 200mm zoom lens, um, what it loses in brightness, hopefully it makes up for in actually giving you a, a closer view. Um, this one here on this side has the 55 millimeter f 1.2 lens so this is going to be the one that will do all the spotting 
searching the sky is far easier to search with a wide lens than what it is with a telephoto lens. So this is the one that's going to be doing all the searching and when I actually find something with this lens all I have to do is try and keep the object approximately in the center of the image on this unit and this particular one here will be aligned in such a way that if the object is in the center of the 50mm one it will also be in view of the 200mm one at a larger size. Um, both units have got their own cameras they'll both be recording at the same time so both of these units will be turned on and recording at the same time um, the video output uh, of each camera that's the plug for it there and that's the uh, plug for the other one the video output of each camera will be routed to this box and there'll be a video out on this box which goes to a large LCD panel and on top of this box there will be a switch for left or right or uh, wide or zoom and what that does is allow me to select which one of these two cameras I actually want to see on a large screen panel while I'm searching for stuff in the sky but either way both cameras will be recording simultaneously the same thing uh, what else can we okay I'll just put the camera down for a second and uh, perhaps uh, take this thing apart a little bit so you can see inside it Hang on. okay now we're looking at the uh, bottom the underside of the uh, unit I've used a um, thick aluminium plate there um, there's a tripod mount in the middle there that's uh, for the large type uh, these these bolts allow me to or will allow me to actually adjust the exact direction that both the tubes are looking at when everything's adjusted both tubes have to look at exactly the same part of the sky you can see how I've used a metal tube made a bracket welded the tube to the bracket both sides okay in this view you can see the uh, rear of the uh, image intensifier tube same with that one I'll flip this around um, this box at the moment has got nothing in it but the uh, audio video cables these are adapter plates that are made for the cameras is these uh, Sony cameras uh, the, the tripod mount is all over the place and not, not exactly in the center as you can see so what I've had to do is I've had to, do, I had to make a, an adapter for it that just sits on there this one's the same another adapter there that bolts onto there basically the, the front of the lens just pushes into that housing there which blocks any external light this one's the, the, the plate's still a little bit thick I have to play with that a bit more um, but basically the, uh, the, camera, the camera pushes into that shroud that stops any external light from getting in there so basically that's, uh, that's my system at the moment I'll just uh, give you a quick look at my um, this, is the, um, this is a video type tripod head and um, this is what I'm going to be using with that particular night vision uh, setup um, I've got a larger older style tripod out in the, the garage which I might use as well but this is my, uh, my newest one anyway this is probably what I'll use these are, these are very good because they've got fluid fluid head and they're very smooth very very smooth in operation um, designed pretty much specifically for video cameras I don't know how much weight I can put on this but um, hopefully I can use it with my um, unit so pretty much that's about it I think I think we've pretty much covered everything